but now commanded all men uh -huh. everywhere, everywhere to repent. So that's the brothers in, in Galatia, the brothers in Cappadocia, the brothers in Thessalonica, right? The brothers in Philippi, the brothers in Corinth. All the Israelites that was all over Greece, all over Israel, had to repent. Right? Come on. Verse 31. Okay, that's it on that, right? Give me that in uh, 2 Peter 2.21. It's about the second Peter chapter two, verse twenty-one. Come on. For it had been better for them. You see that? It had been better for them, read. Not to have known the way of righteousness. Not to have known what? The way of righteousness. So it's better for you not to know the way of righteousness, right? Read. Then after they have known it. Then after you've known it. To turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. You see that? It's better for you not to know and just continue to live. Than to actually be hypocritical. That's the word we're talking about right now is hypocrisy. Hypocritical. Blaspheming the most high. Right? Blaspheming God's name. Because you understood it. Now that sister yesterday understood what the brother Yahshua was teaching her. And he did a good job edifying the sister on, on and having patience with her and her friends because they was inebriated. But she was getting it. The Bible says it's better for you not to know the way of righteousness that we know what righteousness is. Give me um, Isaiah 42, 21, right? Read that part again, brother. God. For it had been better for them uh -huh. not, not to have known the way of righteousness uh -huh. than after they had known it. Then after you've known the way of righteousness. What is righteousness, right? What is righteousness? Everybody talking about I'm righteous. Be righteous. I'm a righteous brother. I'm a righteous sister. The Bible tells you what righteousness is by definition. Right? Read what you got. 4221. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 21. Come, that's it. The Lord is well pleased. The most high is well pleased for his righteousness. For his righteousness sake. For the righteousness sake. The Most High is pleased. How do you please the Most High? By being obedient. Right? What law of measurement do we please the Most High by? What standard, what rubric do we use? We use the law. Right? We abstain from fornication. We abstain from pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. We abstain from a, 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 a homosexual lifestyle. We abstain from lust. We abstain from all types of sins. Right? That's how you please the Most High God. That's righteousness. Right? We... He will magnify the law. He will do what? Magnify the law. He's going to magnify the law. If your righteousness, the law will be magnified. You will shine with the, with the brightness in you, man. Because the Bible tells you that what? The law is light. You see that? Now you're shining. That's what it means to be a light to the Gentiles. All right. right? Showing these are our people, right, who are in a Gentile state of mind. How to actually live by the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right? Read. Yeah. And make it honorable. And make it what? Honorable. And make it honorable. It should be an honor to keep the laws and the statutes and commandments that your God gave you, black man, black woman. Right? It's an honor to do these things. Read your precept. There's a book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 47. Come on. And that servant which knew his Lord's will. His Lord's what? His Lord's will. For the servant knew the Lord's will, read. And prepared not himself. And did not prepare herself. Our people do not prepare themselves for the becoming, the, the second coming of the Messiah. Hamashiach Yahweh, I was a black man, according to the book of Genesis. I'm in the book of Revelation. The book of Daniel tells you that he's a black man, a so-called black man, right? Read. Neither did according to his will. Did, neither did according to the Most High's will, read. Shall be beaten with many stripes. And you're going to be beaten with many stripes. What's the will of the Most High? Right? We understand the will of the Most High is actually has laws, statutes, and commandments. Right? What you got? Read that again. Isaiah 42, 21. Come on. Isaiah 43. So like 42, verse 21. Come on. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness. Uh huh. Sake. He will magnify the law. And make it honorable. And he's going to make it honorable, black man, black woman. Right? We got to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments that our God gave us. Right? That's how you become acceptable. That's how you become, uh, uh, that's how you have entrance into those gates of heaven, man. Right? It's going to be a beautiful thing because we're going to be able to keep these laws and have fun. The Bible says, keep my commandments and live. You have a good time keeping the laws, man. 
right? You have a good time abstaining yourself from the wickedness of this land, man. All right? What would you got? All right, get that uh, 2 Peter 2.21 again. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 21. Come on. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. So it's better for you not to know the way of righteousness, right? Come on. Then after they have known it. Then after you've known it, come on. To turn from the holy commandment. To turn away from the holy what? Commandment. To turn away from the holy commandment. That's righteousness. The holy commandment goes back to the laws of the Most High. Right, read. Delivered unto them. Delivered unto them. Read on. But it is happening unto them uh -huh. according to the true proverb. According to the true proverb. That's wisdom. The proverbs is wisdom on how to operate in this wicked nation and still keep God's laws. How to operate in this damn society that's trying to kill you and hunt your steps and still be happy keeping God's laws, man. Being oppressed. Being the last hired, first fire, and still being able to come out on top. The Bible says that gold is tried in the fire, right? right? We go through the fire, man, right. and we do it with smiles on our face. Why? Because we got the laws of the Most High God. We got the statutes and commandments on our side, man. That's right. Come on. But it has happened unto them, uh -huh. according to the true proverb. According to the true proverbs, read. The dog is turned in, so like the dog is turned to his own vomit again. You see that? Now we got people that understand the laws, statutes, and commandments. And they go right back to their own vomit. They go right back to what got them in prison. They go right back to what got them locked up. They go right back to what got them in the trouble they're in now. You're dealing with them same women that you, you know, you came into the truth and you went right back to them same women that got you jacked up in the first place. Right? Still paying child support on a crazy baby mama. Right? Our women go right back to that same guy that got you in trouble the first place. Right? You can't make this up. The Bible tells you how to live. Give me 2 uh, Timothy 3 and 16. The Bible tells you how to live. The Bible tells you how to actually be a good servant, man. Right? This is very, this is very crucial information for the black man. The black man should run back to the Bible, man. Right? Why? Because the Bible tells you how to live. I, I, I don't see how a black man can literally walk down the street and love Christianity, love Islam, love them, uh, uh, all these different religions that don't do nothing for him and he still got his belongings and he's walking down the street with his suitcases, man. Right? That don't make sense. Read what you got. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. Come on. All scripture. All scripture. That goes back to your Torah. That goes back to the Tanakh, right? The prophecies, the Proverbs, the Psalms. All scripture. Come on. It's given uh -huh. by inspiration. By what? By inspiration. All scripture is given by inspiration. They tell you how to actually live. These scriptures inspire me. When I'm going through something, I go to Syrac, right? I'm gonna find whatever I'm going through, I'm gonna find it in the book of Proverbs. When I wanna know how to actually praise the Most High and sing them songs, I go to the book of Psalms. I go through 119 and you read through that, man. Right? Come on. Of thy power. Of thy power, man. The Most High gives you instructions and, and, and inspiration. Read. Hey. It's profitable uh -huh. for doctrine. You see that it's profitable, right? When when the sister yes, yesterday was told Brother Yashu that the law is a curse, the Bible's because instruction is law. Let's just clear that up, right? Instruction tells you how to do things. You can't put, like I always say, you can't put a baby gate up without the instructions. It don't work. You're going to miss some pieces. His baby's going to fall through. You can't put a car together without instructions, right? So all scriptures is instructions, right? And profitable. So when that sister said yesterday to Yeshu that the law is a curse, the Bible says likewise, uh, he says, counter that, right? Contrary to what you say, it's profitable. You can profit off keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Right? Finish that out. Huh. Hey, it's profitable for doctrine. For doctrine. Now I can put my doctrine, I can put my doctrine in this book. I can tell you how I live by this book. This is a manual for the black man in America. This is a manual for the Hispanic man in America. Right? This is a manual for the Native American man in America. Tells you how to live life. Tells you how to defeat your enemies and still get out clean, man. Right, Reed? Right, huh. For correction. For what? For correction. And our people need correction. Our people need correction to the highest order. Right? Walking down Greenwood twerking when a brother's telling you how to how to have your body saved, man. How to have your life saved. Women get raped on Greenwood all the time. 
right? All the time, and all they want to do is go out there and twerk and take chances, man. And they throw us the middle finger up, and we just tell you how to live, right? That's all right, we. For instruction in righteousness. And there's that word again, righteousness, right? Instruction in righteousness. How to live righteously. Goes back to this book. Goes back to the first five books of the Bible called the Torah. Right? Precept? Uh, Bring it out. There's the book of 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. Come on. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. The Most High tells you how to get out of temptation. If you're tempted to go back to your vomit like we read earlier, you got to go back and read the book of the Bible, man. Uh, read your laws, statutes, and commandments. Uh, right? Go back to your heritage. Pray on it. Fast. There's a lot of power in the power of fasting. Right? You, you got a problem with the blunt? Hey, fast on it, brother. Uh, fast on it, sister. Right? You got a problem with anything you're dealing with? Fast on it. Right? Read. And to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. And he's going to reserve the unjust for what? The day to be punished. Today to be punished, man. Right? That's why we say it's better for you not to know than to know and still reject the laws of the Most High. Right? Because now you're in subject of blaspheming the Most High God. Know that? Come on, give me Hebrews 10, 26. Look what you got. Come Uh, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 22. Come on. When thou goest, it shall lead thee. Come on. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And this is the book of what? Proverbs, chapter 6, starting at 22. Uh, start at uh, 20. Come. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 20. Come on. My son. Uh-huh. Keep thy father's commandment. Keep thy what? Thy father's commandment. So the book of Proverbs, the sixth chapter, the twentieth verse, is telling the people of Israel to keep your father's commandments. Your father gave you the whole book of command. He gave you the cheat code, the first five books of the Bible. You got the answers to the test. We know when you was growing up in high school, somebody took the test, and then you gave the answers to your buddy, and then he passed the test with flying colors. Because he gave you the answers. The Most High gave you the answers right here in these first five books. Right. But y'all want to be hard-headed. Y'all want to be rebellious. You didn't study and you want to pass the test already. No. You got to come back and go back to your laws. Come on. And forsake not the law of thy mother. And forsake not the law of the mother. Right? That goes back to the law. We bind them continually upon thine heart. And put them on your heart. Put the law as your mind, right? The heart is the mind. Put the laws on your mind. That means when you wake up, you thank the Most High Yahweh that He woke you up. You could have not woke up. You could have went to bed and not woke up. You could have been right into a coma. Because you've done wickedly, man. All people have done wickedly, and we all got a price to pay for that. So when you wake up, that's grace right there. Right? That's grace, read. And tie them about thy neck. And tie them about thy neck. You wearing it around your neck. Come on. Verse 22. Uh-huh. And thou goest, it shall lead thee. It shall, so the law is going to lead you. Right? The law is going to lead you. Read. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. It's going to keep you. It's going to give you that comfort. That's that Holy Spirit coming and keeping you comfort. Giving you understanding. Come on. And when thou awakest, uh -huh. it shall talk with thee. And it shall talk with what? With, with thee. With thee. Right? Read. Verse 23. Uh-huh. For the commandment. For the commandment. Is a lamp. Is a what? Is a lamp. So the commandment is a lamp. Read. And the law. And the law. Is light. Is light. You ever try to walk through a house that you don't know and it's dark? You know how many toes you stub? You know how many trips you fall under? You know how many traps you fall up under? The law is the light to tell you how to avoid all these things. You believe that, brother? You believe in the laws of God, right? You don't? You see that? Our guys don't our guys trip up over things all the time. Because they forsake the laws of the most they forsake the laws of their father and their mother. They forsake that. Now they need all kinds of heaps of trouble in dealing with our uh, uh the other nations, man. Because the hey, the scriptures tell you don't deal with these heathens. The Bible tells us that, right? You you agree with that, Brother Dale? Read that again. Right, this is I the, agree with the Bible. This okay, book, okay, you you agree with this then, read. This is the book of Psalms. I mean, Salak so Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 23. Uh-huh. For the commandment is a lamp. 
And the law is light. And the what? And the law is light. So the law tells us the Sabbath days we can't buy or sell. That's what the law say. Right? We got to have an actual Shabbat, a rest day. Have you been keeping the Shabbat properly, yeah. Brother Dale? Through Jesus Christ. How does that work? Come to me, all you have labor. But how does that work? Just like I said, the same way it works that you don't have to sacrifice animals no more. Where does it say that at? Are you still killing animals? We don't have a temple to kill animals. Do you, do you, do you understand? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I asked you a question, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying that you don't understand what sacrifice, the requirement for sacrifice, you need a temple. There's not a temple of the most higher out here. That's what we're saying. So that's the reason to break the law? We're not saying you break the law. Brother Dale, you don't have, you have no understanding. Brother Dale, you don't have the understanding. Read it again. Right? They, the wicked flee with no man pursueth. And you see, and you and you see how he's proud. You see how he's proud of that, right? All people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, right? Willfully sinning. Get that Hebrews ten twenty six. This the book of Hebrews chapter ten verse twenty six. And brother Dell is happy to break God's law, right? Brother Dell is happy. He's happy to break the Most High's law because itself a follower of Christ, right? We could have had the dialogue. Right? We could have had an actual dialogue about why we don't sacrifice animals. Right? But he has no understanding and he doesn't want to humble himself. The elder told him to humble himself, right? He didn't want to have that. Huh. And as a result, the Spirit, the Most High put on the Spirit to not only be a blasphemer of the Most High, but to be a scoffer. Right? Read what you got. So if we sin willfully. What is Brother Dell doing? He is sinning willfully. Come on. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. And we were trying to give him the knowledge of the truth. Come on. There remaineth no more sacrifices for sins. You see that? There's no more sacrifice for sins, man. Right? That's the only unforgivable sin is you actually being disobedient when the Most High told you how to be obedient and you actually hearken. Having this idea that I can keep the Sabbath day through Christ but can't really explain it, we don't we don't deal with that up here. Right? But the devil has an understanding that we take... Bible verses out of context. All we do is read and get the senses, right? But he can't explain his doctrine, right? He can't explain the doctrine, right? He don't understand that they were actually sacrificing animals in the, in the book of Acts, right? They were actually doing Nazarite vows in the book of Acts. Had he stayed around, we could have showed him that. But like we said, it's better for you not to know and be ignorant than to actually uh, go back to that. Let's go back to that Second Peter 2 verse 21, right? It's better for you not to know. Hey, look, for the sake of Bill, man, him running off. Hey, it's all right, right? What's going on, family? How y'all doing? Yeah, how you doing? You, you, you familiar with this information up here? You know what y'all here for? Uh, not what y'all are here for. We're teaching our people that who, who, like, what's your nationality? My nationality? Yeah, what nation of people you come from? I'm indigenous to the land. You indigenous to the Americas? I mean, what's the way, what's the way I'm like, we from Morocco or something? I'm not saying nothing. I'm asking you, who you who's your who's your forefathers go back on your father's side? Who do y'all go back to? Your forefathers. I'm beyond, I don't know. You don't know, right? What about you, sis? You don't know? Do you see your forefathers on this chart, on this sign right here? And read what you got. Why they looking? Read what you got. It's the book of Second Peter, chapter two, verse 24, 21. Come on. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. See, it's better for our people not to know the way of righteousness. Rather than what? Then after they had known it. Then after you understood it, you digested it, you meditated on it, it makes sense. Read. To turn from the holy commandment, then you're gonna, to them. Then you're going to turn away from it. That means you reject the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. You see yourself on here, brother? Uh, I mean, I didn't know I got some Seminole. Seminole Indian? Yeah. On your father's side? Okay. What, okay, what about your father? Because the seed goes through the father. That's why we ask him about your father. You probably wonder why they're going through the father. The seed line, who you are by your nationality, goes to your father. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. 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 So, you don't know, right? What about you, sis? You still don't know yet? All right. So give me uh, Genesis 3, 32, 26, right? So we are teaching our people the so-called black, the so-called black Hispanic Native Americans. We're not black, right? We don't identify ourselves as black. Your shirt is black. You're not black, right? That was a term put on you by a man named uh, Johann Blumenbach, right? He was a German anthropologist that showed you that you were black. Now, when you look at that word black, there's nothing but what? Negativity behind that. Just like they're not white. No one's white. But what's behind that word? 
a lot of positivity behind it, right? Read what you got. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 26. No, I want, uh, Shalaki, uh, uh that's it, 28. 28. Come. Verse 28. Uh-huh. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. But. But Israel. But what? But Israel. Israel. So you ever heard of the Israelites in the Bible? Has anyone ever told you that the so-called black man, woman, and child is God's chosen people and they're from one of these 12 tribes? Anybody ever tell y'all that? And the, and the people that's calling themselves Jews aren't really Jews, right? So we're, we're God's chosen. So our job is to tell our women and our men to come back to their nationality, to come back to their God-given language, their God-given laws, statutes, and commandments, and their, their God-given nationality, their heritage, right? Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4, right? So we out here telling our people that, that they're God's chosen people. And I'll finish that out. Come. For as a prince. As a what? A prince. As a what? A prince. As a prince. Has the power with thy power. With thy power, right? As a prince, you have power with the most high God. So we out here teaching us that the so-called black man is actually a prince of power. So when you break down that word Israel in the Hebrew, it's Yasha Allah, oh. right? Which is a like prince, he, Yah means he, prince of power. So you are a prince of power, right? Which sounds a lot better than saying, I don't know, or I'm a black man, or I'm an African American. When I call myself a prince of power, now it gives me a lot more uh, uh, teeth when I talk. Now I have more authority when these people try to de demean, demonize us and, and vilify us and, and put us down at the bottom. We the last hire first fire. What about that sign right there? Look at that. All of our people hung on trees. But if we knew we was Israelites, we were a prince of power, and we were daughters of Zion, then this would be like, like we would have a lot more power in our in our in our actual uh, walk and our talk. You see what I'm saying? The wretched will walk the earth. What you mean by that? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Good question, right? Let's go right back to that Second Timothy, chapter three, verse sixteen, right? And you give me, um, bring that out real quick. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter seventeen, verse four. Come on. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance. See, that's what we are here teaching our people that you have a heritage, you have a nationality, you have an actual bloodline of kings that you come from, you have uh, uh, women that were in, in rulership at one time that you come from, right? Certain women that were actually actually uh, 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 righteous in the Most High's eyes, right? Read. That I gave thee. And the Most High gave us these commandments. He gave us the law. You ever heard of the laws of the Most High? Right? You know some of the laws of God? Like, like name like five. The laws of the Most High. What you do, what you don't do, right? Things like that. Right from wrong, right? So like, 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 like what though? Respect your elders. That goes back to the laws of the Most High, right? What about what? What's another one? The solution now. Read what you got. Read what you got, and then you give me uh, Revelation eighteen and four. This the book of before you be, before you do that. What, what's your what's your um what's your theology? What's your ideology? Like what do you believe in? Yeah, because that might make things more clear. What what do you, what do you believe in? What's your moral compass? Of, uh, uh, um, uh, off of like, right? how do you how do you call yourself? Like, what do you what do you like? Well, who are you? 